something. Right. You know, he could also have a little bit more room to do his running around, like his yeah. run in and outs, you know, and really, you know, try to nullify, uh, you know, some of the things that Tweet kind of stuck to him here. But let's go ahead and move right to this next match here. Didn't even know it was underway. Wadi and Cosmos for loser semifinals. Man, I hate to see both of my two guys go at it like this, but hell, man, Wakanda forever, man. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, Oh, losers' quarters, excuse me. Yeah, losers, 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 losers' quarters. quarters. Uh, we have Wadi and Cosmos going at it. Uh, very interesting matchup. Uh, seeing these uh, these two DLC characters go at it. Uh, I mean, in, in the world of DLC, you'll, you'll see these, these are the mid-tier DLC characters. They're not Bale and they're not Cloud, but these characters definitely pack a punch. Absolutely, man. You definitely get your money's worth. There's about $10 mm -hmm. a character right now on stage. Oh, yes. And, uh, me and DeBuzz uh, talked about earlier. I mean, some people got Mewtwo for free. Oh, dang. It <laughs> wasn't me, that's for true. If you, were, if you got both of the games? Yeah, most certainly wasn't me. I definitely had to give my copy of 3DS Smash back over to my boy Gunk's name. So. Oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> All right. So a lot of footsie play going on here. And uh, I expect to see a lot of the, you know, the same things coming from Cosmos uh, that I saw in his match versus the Buzz mm -hmm. with... Uh, I mean, U2 and Rosalina Luma being the same type of body types, but yes. he's just going to be able to execute it that much easier because he doesn't have to worry about also separating Luma. Yeah, has a, you know, a little bit more comfortability into this matchup yeah. here, but right as we say that, oh, man, they're gosh. right into the turnaround forwarder. Wadi, such a master of position that forwarder. It's like he always knows where they're going to... Okay. So neutral, get up. I told you. <laughs> That's like Wadi's thing, man. It's not, and it's not a bad thing. You know, it's, just, it's something that a lot of players struggle with here. But in this case, I really feel like the other top players here today are starting to pick up on his habits. So you can't do too good, up, man. Uh, I especially feel like with Mewtwo, uh, that's one of his weaker get-up options. Uh, Mewtwo having some of the most amazing air mobility in this game, yes. jumping from ledge. Yes, sir. Normally, uh, going to be your best option is Mewtwo. Ooh, okay. All right, so uh, he tech rolls the landing there. Uh, able to get away from that Shadow Ball. And right now, uh, Cosmo's looking pretty good sitting at 57%, but on that first stop, it did look like he was in control until he got hit by that Rage Fair. Most definitely. So you can't count this Mewtwo out. Okay. Here we go, 107%. There's yes, the kick, that though. That is going to kill Mewtwo. All right. We have Vlad uh, the Impaler there taking game number one. Vlad the Impaler. <laughs> I thought the down throw upper from Link was called the Vlad the Impaler. Oh, man. Bro, anybody can impale <laughs> as long as you got a weapon. Oh, snaps, Rob. Okay, speaking of switching up the weaponry here, man, we uh, mm -hmm. switched, you know, our Shadow Claws uh, for some Gyros. Yeah. Three, two, one. not Gyros. Gyros, Gyros. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay, game number two, headed to Town and City. Uh, we definitely know why uh, Wadi Rob here wanted to go to Town and City. He wants to get that B-boot at 3%. Oh, definitely. Oh, wow, forward right through the ledge of stage. Okay, finding it some marker, giving himself a little bit of room to work with here. Wow. You know, the key to this matchup is going to be, uh, does Cosmos have enough experience to deal with that wonderful projectile that Rob has been blessed with? Because I feel like if he did not have that projectile, he, he'd be like a bottom five, bottom ten character. Yeah, you know, I, I guess I can semi-agree with that, you know, but even... Even then, kind of like how we look at the Buzz and, and Rose Lenny, you know, it, it, what really makes the player is how well they play without their weaponry. You know, obviously right now he's doing a pretty solid job of putting on more damage and kind of bringing this thing back. But we've seen Wadi, guys like Mr. Eric, um, you know, and a few other Rob. Oh, like uh, like Sassy too from Austin, Texas. Like they just do so dominantly without the Rob. Oh, excuse me, without uh, not the Rob, without, but the without, without the Gyro. Excuse me, yes. He's trying to get him slow. Back onto the stage, but Rob is just such a giant body. He's definitely a combo food character. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, empty hops. Okay, gets the projectile. Oh gosh, he just tossing oh, that blade at him. Let me rip. Yeah, going for the Z drop, looking for the spike, and you can't sleep on that spike, man. You know, you just had. Oh my God! With the up air, wacky, big heavy stuff. Wacky waving and flavorful arm, arm man. Yeah, dude. Getting his Miley Cyrus on, man. So he puts his hands up. He's waving his arms. Yeah, it's a party in the USA here in Arkansas. Most certainly. We're happy the rain stop. Ooh, in the back here, uh, taking out Robin. We're uh, sitting here all square at zeros. Okay. Throwing out some up tilts. I like that, man. 
taking off that false illusion of comfort there. Cosmo's getting off of there as quickly as possible. This Nair is doing some pretty big damage. Oh, my goodness. Down throw I'm up here. Get that damage. Out where Waddy wants to be. Above the Cosmos. Up tilts, up airs. And he's going to shoot him, too. Yeah, most certainly shoot him out of the sky. Boom, another down throw. Gets the people okay. again. Oh, that kill is 73. What, what in the world? What? <laughs> this top eight might be the top eight of just like, moves I kill a little bit too, too early. early. Yeah. Uh, Sam Sword not up smash, killing Cindy Boo at 75. Still a little tight. Yeah. Still a little I tight. Like, I know you're chic, but dang. That, man. A little, little tight. All right. Okay. All right. So uh, going to Battlefield. Uh, we have uh, Wadi staying alive here, uh, going to Battlefield. He's going to lose uh, the, the super early kill option of that B-boot because I hope that move would not have killed here on Battlefield. Yeah, same here, dude. Battlefield, obviously, we know what the, the physicalities of this yeah. stage brings, man. Big blast zones, a lot of room to work with, plus the yeah. platform. You know, for most characters, they do pretty okay here. And I felt like in that, uh, that first game, uh, his grab combos is uh, really what powered him to do that match. But I think in this one, he might need to rely on the gyro a little bit more um, on the ledge. Get him off stage and uh, try and get one of those traps going. Okay. Oh, okay. Gets the pin. Able to hit the top platform too and get back towards the center of the stage here. Then, of course, pinning Wadi as he gets a little bit too close as well. You know, a little late there. Yeah, Cosmos just hasn't quite been able to find his mark. He hasn't yeah. been, quite been able to pinpoint, no pun intended, you know, the and opponent. Wadi has done a wonderful job tossing this dreidel at him. Woo! The back air. <laughs> hey, man, there was no way he was going to mess with that giant hitbox, bro. <laughs> right, man. <laughs> uh, you know, such a beautiful yeah. finish to that stock. You know, Wadi just always on the mark. Um, you know, wh whether it be, uh, you know, that he can't play Mewtwo or that he has to switch over to Rod, yeah. man, he's always able to, you know, tack on a ton of damage. This combo game, too. You know, obviously, he's not just running in and swinging out in there, um, you know, and just really trying to swing uh, at Cosmos and knock him from one end of the stage to another. You know, he's really, really putting the hands and the wheels on here. Yeah, it's really nice to see a, a change up of things. Uh, not too often that you get to see a Rob in a top eight. But uh, it's certainly been a while. It, it, it just really seems like uh, Cosmos is having issues dealing with that projectile. Uh, I mean, in this game and in the match before, we've seen, uh, I mean, there were change of three times where he got hit with the, the gyro. Yeah, a bit of a, a shift in pace, I suppose, you know. Um, and I guess and a shift in tool set as well. You know, Mewtwo, uncharged Shadow Balls really bait you in, you know, and then obviously once he has a charge, you know what he's looking for. But in this case, this projectile here can really, really put you in a bad spot. Up bro, boom. Oh, okay, that's going to kill. Ain't no blast zone high enough, man. <laughs> All right. Got a perfect shield, that one. Ooh, Nair to pin. Got the low percentage combos here. Just like that, Wadi's already sitting at 32 damage. All right, so Cosmos is going to need to be careful here pretty soon. Uh, Rob's up throw that did get nerfed a while back. Pretty, oh, man, we don't we don't need no up throws. We got down <laughs> to up airs. Made the air dodge that time, too. Now, that was yeah. very smart. Put your hands in the air like you don't care. Right. I love it when you call me Big Waddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I had to. I had, I had to do it to him. I had to do it to him. Oh, man. Okay, sticking with the Rob man, not wanting to switch up. He understands that Mewtwo wasn't quite able to make it happen. Obviously, a light body. Very easy to combo when Cosmo starts to get in. Rob, a different story here. You brought a sword uh, to a laser and uh, just whatever the hell Rob is fight. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, All right, so uh, game number four here on Smashville. Hoping that maybe Cosmos can get some kills earlier off the side. Uh, there are definitely uh, times in these, the past two games where Rob didn't die, where you two definitely would have died. So maybe uh, getting a little bit of help with these blossoms on the side Most definitely. Uh, can help Cosmos turn the set around here. Okay. Throws it down that time, tries to get him out of that corner. He was, I think he might have been expecting a roll, roll in option, yeah, and then like obviously that. up smash. Because people forget, you know, up smash covers roll and neutral good. If I learned that from uh, Sassy, you know, we played a lot of games. So I went to DreamHack Austin, and believe me, man, what better way to learn than experience? You know, sooner or later you're going to have to stop rolling the ball that <laughs> was like, yeah, you can't do that. My up smash is good. Yeah, it is. All right. Hops off stage and uh, uses that laser. 
Oh gosh. And he charged that as long as he could. Uh, he got in a position where he's like, bro, if you don't stop charging, you're going to get back here. Yeah, man. In a game with these two characters here, man, it's all about positioning, man. Good position though, with the pin. There's the kick. Cosmos goes up. Right. Just barely dying there. And, uh, okay. So, all right. So he, he tried to go for a fair out of that down throw. Actually, a, a very surprising thing there. Uh, maybe he knew that at that percent that Cosmos was not going to die from the up air, so he didn't want to scale it out. All right. Got another laser. Air. Ooh, he's going to shoot that across the stage and hit Cosmos. Tried to catch him coming back to the stage. Oh, did he oh, just drag him oh, down? Oh, Wait a down. second. Oh, Wait a second. That would have killed. What is this? I tell you, man, every tournament, every top eight I watch, you see something Yo, different. You learn something you're different. You're learning something new. Three years into this damn game, you're still learning something new, man. <laughs> you learn that Rob can do some top tier stuff. I, I'm <laughs> telling you. Boom, back air. I like that. You know, Cosmo has no problem drifting way into the yeah. blast zone oh, or drifting way gosh, down into the blast zone. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Seeing that boy home. Now, Cosmos, you know, like I said, has no issue drifting way off into the left of the, of the blast zone or drifting down if he has to to find uh, what could be like a nair kill yeah. or a back air kill. But Cosmos, man, that was just a very, very dominating finish there to that last game. <laughs> Catching that man's big body on the way uh, back to the stage. And it looks like for game number five, we are going to go, uh, we're going to go back to Mewtwo. Yes. Three, two, one, go. All right. And uh, maybe this has a bit to do uh, with the, the stage selection. All right, we got a Nair. Fair. Ooh, got the soft spot in there. Got another soft spot uh -oh. in there. Is he going for it again? Oh, okay. man. So he's going to make it back to the stage. Whoa, oh, wait. no. Whoa, wait a second. What? Oh no! R.I.P. R.I.P. Corin. I hate to see my brothers fight like this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, all right, uh, let's uh, let's get on to the second stock here for Cosmos. Uh, I mean, uh, you, you, you're never out. No, no you're, most you're down, not. but you're never out. Yeah, man, down. You know, obviously, and if you're gonna go down, Cosmos is the type of guy's gonna go down, oh, swinging or biting. Yes. Uh, Coin being a character uh, that does have the ability to take out Mewtwo early, uh, it was just something that we did see in the first game there. Because I believe that first game might have been a two stock, and as I talked about taking stocks early, uh, we got a tipper there uh, as Wadi was trying to come back to the stage. And just like that, this is a match that Cosmos still has the ability to win. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, in there. Oh man, just getting all that damage, bringing the match right back. Okay. Using that sword. Again, there's another neutral special here, man. Really, really scared on how he's going to approach. Obviously, he doesn't want to get bit again. You know, one yeah. more bite, and that's definitely going to be all she wrote here. Woo! All right. He's seeing 82 damage. Yeah, he's going to be safe. Oh, my. You know, the, the games the games that we see with Cosmos where he can, you know, catch you with the two-frame pin, you know, things like that, that's when Cosmos has filled himself. But when he can't quite find those openings, that's when things he's oh saying, wow, gosh. running and right Luckily, he fell out of that. And then Wadi's going to throw this man off stage. He said, hey, remember the last time he was out here? <laughs> Let me show you something. Let me show you something, my friend. Ooh, and that pin not yet killing. Ooh, giving Mewtwo the rage that he wants. Oh, spiked into the stage. Whoa. He said, hey, I got a shadow ball, but I'm going to throw it the, the kick. wrong way. That's going to oh, do it. Cosmos with the turnaround. Man. And right there, we had a we had a little bit of spaghetti uh, throwing the shadow ball the wrong way. I got, you got to clap it up. Like, oh, yeah, true. Got to, you got yeah. to clap it up <clears throat> for my brothers. Yeah, sadly, uh, w Wakanda cries. Yeah, dude. Wow. Uh, what, what a finish there, you know, Cosmos, 